Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing Instar's paints. But first of all, I'd like to thank Ian from Instar Paints who sent me all the paints out for review. If you check the description box down below, I'll we'll put a direct link to their web store where you can find out all the paints I've used in this tutorial and more besides. Okay, here I'm showing you that the Instar paints uh, come with different coloured lids. So the purples represent the washes, the yellows represent metallics and colour shift paints, blues represent their standard paints which can come in either matte or gloss varieties and you can pick uh, when you go to order the paints uh, any particular colour whether you prefer it in matte or gloss and they also come in very um, very different sizes I believe they start from 2 mil and go all the way up to 100 mil which is absolutely fantastic if you have a particular color that you absolutely love for your army and you know you're going to be using absolutely tons of it you can get it in a bigger bottle and save a lot of money uh, doing it that way okay so we're going to test the first paint uh, in a moment and we're going to test uh, caramel uh, which is a matte color I believe all the paints that Ian sent me are matte in the standard acrylic line um, that's one of my favorite colors that I just showed you a moment ago the lime green and um, most of the paints that I shook if not all had agitators in the bottle uh, which is really good the consistency is a little different to games workshop I've noticed the textures um, a little bit more gel like uh, this stuff is called water plus and it's uh, an acrylic thinner and it's much better than water guys you'll see in a moment when I thin down this paint the paint doesn't break up at all on the palette uh, so you can really thin the paint down and work in glazes if you like or even create your own washes with this uh, water plus and uh, I really like it and uh, I'll be using this pretty much exclusively with all my um, paint uh, thinning in future I believe uh, but here I'm just painting the hands and I've thinned down the paint really thin here probably about one to one with the water plus and as you can see it's coating really nice but you're gonna need two or three thin coats uh, to get even coverage if you paint uh, this thin uh, here I've added more of the caramel color and you can see that uh, it's covering the hand uh, much easier uh, when it's not diluted so much obviously I also want to mention that the nibs of these paints are really needle like so you can get just a tiny amount of paints out the bottles at a time which is great great if you're really stingy and tight with your paint so you could just put out a tiny amount of paint on the palette and um, really get great control out of the, the uh, needle like nibs on these uh, paint bottles here I've really thinned down the caramel colour and I just wanted to show you how it coated uh, if you heavily thin it down. Here you can see a close up of the palette with the paint and you can see that gel like consistency but as I thin it down with the water plus you can see that it just doesn't want to break uh, down on the palette and split which is fantastic. It keeps its consistency even when you heavily dilute it. Now we're going to test one of the metallics in the range called dull pewter. Again it's really important that you shake your metallics and the fact that these have got agitators in the bottles to help mix the paints is a fantastic addition I think to these paints 
I'm going to show you me painting the arms and the gun of one of these uh, Mal not Malifaux, um, the other side minis from Weird Games and as you can see I thin it down a little bit with the Water Plus again and it gives really nice co coverage. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up uh, but these metallics are really really shiny and reflective which is a property I really like out of my metallics. So far I'm absolutely loving the Instar paints but I'm not too sure about this flesh wash if I'm quite honest guys. It's very light in colour and most flesh paints are about the same tone of this flesh wash. So the only way I can think of this flesh wash working is if you actually painted uh, the face of a miniature for example uh, in either a very very light bone colour or in a white and then you use the heavy flesh wash uh, and it would create definition but in the general sense of washes uh, flesh washes it's a bit too light for my personal tastes but that's just me personally uh, here I'm washing the flesh with the heavy brown and as you can see it uh, works really well Now we're going to use the heavy black wash over the metallic arms and hands are painted on the other side mini. And as you can see um, here I've not shaken the bottle very well and um, the wash is not solid in colour. But a quick shake and then a, a reapply of the wash you can see that it's a really nice consistency so this goes back to what i say earlier on in the video always make sure you shake your paints uh, well before applying them to your palette uh, but the wash works really well here um, it adds some extra definition to the metallics dulls them down a little and uh, obviously creates those shadows in the recesses
As I mentioned at the start of the video, these paints are perfect for working in glazes. Now, I'm not an expert in glazing and uh, I rarely paint like that as it takes so long. But if you're a, a very skilled and talented painter and you want to work in glazes, these paints are perfect for that. Coupled with a water plus and thinning down the paints, you can see here I paint in about two or three passes of the uh, paint and uh, I get really nice smooth results I believe this is my third pass of heavily thinned down uh, paint here and uh, as you can see this pretty much gives it a, a really solid coat of paint. I was sent roughly 50 paints uh, from Instar. Now, I haven't had the opportunity to test every single one of the paints, but so far, this is one of my all-star paints from the set that was sent to me. This white goes down effortlessly, smoothly, and almost in one coat coverage over black. This white is legendary, guys. Way better than Games Workshop's white, as I'm sure uh, you'll know that it's not a very good white indeed, but uh, I really like this white, and I can see myself buying a larger bottle of it in future. Now we're going to create uh, some more glazes on the hat that I was doing earlier using red to create like a, a, a browny red leather effect on the hat and again as you can see the paint comes out really nice on the palette there. Here you can see what the hat looks like after applying two very thin coats uh, of the lighter red colour and um, 
I'm really happy with the results to be honest guys the color blends that you're able to get with these paints are really easily to do uh, coupled with the water plus now we're going to try a gold paint from the instar line and i have to say this is a very very nice gold indeed it gives really nice high sheen as you can see from the uh, uh, palette it's uh, a really nice consistency straight on the palette and it paints beautifully over black Now we're going to test out some color shift paints from Instar. Now again, very important that you shake these paints up and to be honest, you're gonna really need to airbrush these. They don't brush paint on that well. I tried earlier, uh, again, it could be me, it could be the fact that I didn't shake them enough, uh, but here I'm airbrushing them anyway and they go on absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm not a huge fan of these color shift paints. Uh, they, the color shift, I don't know whether it's because I've used them on very small 28 millimeter scale miniatures and you can't see the color shift that well. Uh, but you, I, I really can't see a, a, a very prominent color shift on these paints. Just to let you know that I've not diluted any of the uh, color shift paints that I've just sprayed or I'm about to spray now and I'm spraying at about 25 psi.
As mentioned earlier, I really like this lime green. I think it would be perfect for orcs and that sort of thing. And uh, I'm just going to show you here again how beautifully these paints thin down with the water plus. And I'm just going to paint a hat just to show you how smooth it is. Now we're going to try one of the browns from the range from Instar and as you can see I've thinned it down heavily again with the water plus and we're just going to uh, base coat the coat that this miniature's wearing. Here you can see what the coat looks like after two passes. The hat also got two passes of the lime green. And as you can see, it's really nice matte finish. Um, you'll find with most Games Workshop paints, for example, they give like a satin finish. Me personally, I prefer a matte finish to my 28mm miniature, so I do really like the finish that these paints give. Okay guys, now unfortunately I can't test every single paint that Instar sent me, otherwise it would be a seriously long video. It's already ranging at about 25 minutes as we're about to wrap it up. But as you can see, some of the stars of this range I think are the metallics. The white is <laughs> exceptional. Um, love how these paints thin with a water plus highly recommend water plus for your acrylics even if you don't think you want to go out and buy instar paint straight away pick up the water plus and the white guys they're legendary um, also a, a great thing about instar paints like I mentioned at the start of the video is they come in many different sizes so you could just buy say the 5mm uh, paints of some of the colours that you think you'd like and then upgrade to the larger sizes later on uh, down the line. Now as with all um, reviews you've got to get the negatives in with the positives. Now the negatives for me is I really didn't like the, uh, the wash, uh, flesh wash I should say, the rest were brilliant and I'm not a fan of the colour shift paints but other than that I think that the paints are absolutely wonderful guys really nice great price point on these paints and as I said the ability to buy different sizes depending on how much paint you're going to use for a particular project is a, a great uh, thing I think
Uh, but anyway, guys, don't forget to check the description box down below for links to Instar so you can check out their paint range. Thank you very much for taking your time out of your day to watch this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.